Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. We have six more heart rocks that we had in our arsenal that I shortened down from one hour into this under 10 minute video to get you inspired. Let's get lots of hearts out this Valentine's Day season. I mean, really, who doesn't want to stumble across one of these beautiful hearts? So all the full length tutorials, as always, are linked below. You can jump ahead to one of the shortened versions at any time. So the first one we're doing is our spiral heart design. So the first thing we do, lay a heart down on your rock. Pick uh, at least three colors for this design uh, for you to get the full effect of what you want to do. So starting with a spiral in one of the sides, work it all the way out to the opposite edge. Now you can thicken up this spiral um, a little bit just so that you have more um, depth to your design. Now we're gonna take our second color and go along the outer edge of our spiral and you can make it thicker as it gets to the opposite side of the rock. Next, we're gonna come in with our third color and re repeat the process. So once you get your third color on there, you'll most likely be finishing up the base area or the bottom tip to your heart. So go ahead and let that thickness fill that space. We'll come back with our white next and go one more layer on the outside so that we can fill the upper right side of our heart, the arch of our heart. So get the line in there and then go ahead and add your thickness until you like the way that it looks. Now we're gonna just fill in the left side of our heart with some thicker stripes. Just go back and forth between your colors and you can also fill in the spiral if you have some space left. And then once that's complete, give it a nice outline and you are finished. Next, we have a fun stacked heart design. Now you can do this with any color combination that you want. You simply just draw on your hearts, making sure not to actually overlap your line. You want them to create these spaces in between so that you have areas where you can fill in with your colors. So again, I suggest at least three colors for this design just so that you don't have any of the colors touching once you fill in. Uh, just ping pong between your three different colors. I did red, um, yellow, and orange on this one. I did it back in the fall. And just fill in all the different spaces. And I also did these cute little hearts, um, small hearts along the outside as well. Then you'll be going back in with your black to crisp up all of your lines again, just to create that separation between the colors. And that is it. These hearts are so easy to do. You can do them in batches and leave loads of them around town. Next, we're doing finger painting hearts. So I know finger painting, it's messy, but this is so fun. Um, I'm using my post-it notes here. And for the first one, we're gonna fill in the inside of the heart. So you wanna leave some of that sticky at the bottom of your post-it note. Save the inside part for later so that when you unfold, you've got an area that will kind of attach to the rock that will help you from losing where your heart shape is. So I like to dab with white first to match my base coat. That way if any of it kind of seeps under, you're not gonna see it as much. And then you come in with whatever colors you want and just kind of dab it onto your rock. Now I'm using a maroon and a teal on this, which makes a really pretty purple where it um, bleeds together or mixes together and then peel it off. Now you can see if you have an area that you've got some white, you can come back with your paintbrush with just little dabs and crisp up your edge anywhere that you find um, it's lacking in color. And you'll see there was some bleed under, but we'll fix that later. So you can also use the heart and do it the opposite direction, crisp up your edges as well and use your base coat to touch up anywhere you need. So you can kind of do this in two different styles. So you can have the color on the inside or the outside. Next, we have a pointillism heart design. So it's the same thing. We're gonna use our post-it note here. I am drawing the heart all the way down into the sticky so that it stays on my rock. 
The main part of this is to really make sure that you're doing your dots straight up and down so you don't end up with a bunch of hash marks. Go right along that seam. Make sure you're using your other finger to hold that down tight so that you can go right along that seam with lots of dots. All right. Peel up your post-it note here so that you can see your heart. And then you're gonna be able to go along and fix any of your edges by adding a few more dots and then it's just off to the races to fill it. I've got three different colors I'm using here. Just dot, dot, dot around all the way out to your edges until you like the look of your stone. And you can do these in all sorts of color combinations. Now this 3D style heart is really fun to do. It's really impressive looking, but it's actually not as hard as it looks. So it's all about laying out your heart with your lines on your stone. Um, give yourself an outside edge to your design. And then post-it notes work great because the pad you can press into the rock and kind of fold it over the edges to make vertical lines on your heart. So you're gonna create arches anywhere where the lines go through the heart. We're gonna repeat this process horizontally as well. So straight lines, and then when it cuts through the heart, you're gonna create arches. Now, when you're creating your arches and your lines on your heart, if you make any mistakes, that's okay, because we're gonna fill in the whole thing. So just make sure you get that line where you want it. It's all right to uh, move it up or down if needed. Now, I like to come through with my colors and add dots so that I can see the design. There might be a few areas that are questionable. So give yourself some dots so that you can find the right checker pattern and then fill in. If you don't have paint pens, you can fill in also with dotting tools and acrylic paints. So go through and redo all of your black lines on here. It looks pretty cool even without the shading, but we're gonna add a little bit of shading to this as well. So a couple little dabs of your black, a very little bit of water on a brush and just kind of wiggle it along that black and you'll slowly pull it away. And it doesn't take much of a shadow to pull this off. Just that little shadow really makes the heart pop off the rock. So we just work your way all the way around and then touch up any black that's spilled over to the top layer of the heart. You want that top layer with zero shadow so it really pulls it up and away off of the background. Now these radial design hearts, again, using our post-it note, are really simple to do and there's so many ways to go about them. So just place a heart on your stone and give yourself a center point that all of your lines are heading towards. Um, I like to kind of go and make my lines further apart first, just to kind of space things out. Always make sure you're pulling from the post-it note off of onto the stone. Never pull back towards the post-it note. This will help from the bleeding underneath and just work your way around. On this one, I'm just doing uh, pinks with the glitter pink and a regular pink back and forth until you've covered most of the edge of uh, your post-it note. And then when you pull it away, you'll have this really pretty heart left over in the center. Now, if you're doing lines like this, you can just outline your heart based on where your little lines pull into the center shape. Well, I really hope you enjoyed these heart tutorials. We've got six more that you can watch right here. And of course we have loads more tutorials on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Bye-bye.